Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for the Sun or the Ascendant for week commencing the 29th of March. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please see the link below where you can check out my testimonials. If you'd like to embrace more serious astrology in an affordable way, go beyond your zodiac sign based on your time, date and place of birth, please check out my special offer 12-month forecast and character analysis combination, which is 30% off and the link is also below. Hello Aries and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 29th of March. The Sun and Venus in your sign continue to shimmer very closely together. What's not to like? This gives you tremendous uh, ability to attract goodness to you. Also, this combination is linking very productively with Saturn. Saturn is the planet of limitation, of restriction, of uh, challenges, of obstacles, of authority, but it's also the planet of structure. So if you are embarking on something new and it's taken shape and you're using your initiative in a very positive, creative, artistic, romantic way, the link between the Sun and Venus and Saturn is very positive because whatever you're doing now that's working is likely to endure for the long term. But there is, in the first half of this week, it's true, a combination between Mercury and Neptune. If you're someone who really has a very vivid man, uh, imagination, you like to use it, you enjoy watching films or box sets, then you can really uh, enjoy this particular uh, combination because it will heighten your awareness. Also, if you're someone who's very perceptive or have a, a psychic potential, that also can be boosted. But we can't get away from the fact that Mercury is in detriment in Pisces and Neptune can distort. So if there is something going on around a relationship where you don't have that sense of clarity, it's going to be important to cut through the mist that Neptune can create in terms of your thinking, which is Mercury, to try to find out what's really meaningful for you. Now, of course, all this week, we're still feeling the power of last week's full moon in the sign of Libra. So perhaps we can all take it back to how we can keep a sense of perspective and balance, which is very Libran. And of course, the sun being close to Venus when the full moon occurred means that if we can try to find ways to collaborate, to uh, take a more harmonizing approach, even if something seems confusing, difficult, uncertain, that means the lines of communication stay open. And I think that's a very helpful thing. And particularly because on Sunday, Mercury pitches up in Aries. That brings a whole load of fire to the proceedings. Things that only a few days earlier felt confusing or bogged down, or you felt in some way that your emotional energy or your uh, more uh, intellectual energies had been a little lower then you can really start to feel much more traction coming through. But Sunday does see a quarter moon in the sign of Capricorn. So whatever you're trying to do individualistically, which is obviously very important at this time, if you can deal with the more subconscious or fearful side of uh, any situation that may be nibbling at your peace of mind, I think what this quarter moon is saying that you can uh, reach for the stars but it is going to be very difficult to disguise how you feel. So if you're wanting or needing to be more tactical, the week following this one may make that more difficult to achieve. But I still feel the core of this week is that fantastic combination between the Sun, Venus and Saturn. So what's working for you, really invest your energies there. Try not to give your energies to something that's distracting, draining or underwhelming. 